woke up this morning and it was that heavy a heavy a bloody uh, frost. It was like snow on the ground. But uh, we realise now that we're up what, about 15, 1600 metres. The deer aren't here as yet. So we're just going to have to drop down. And we're going to drop right down today. We're in for a bit of a walk. Ben's going to kill me. <laughs> And uh, Jake's going the other way, but he'll be just firing shots in the air. There'll be no deer where he's nah, going. He won't There'll be no deer where he's going. <laughs> uh. See those long legs? I've got to keep up with those. <laughs> So we're going to uh, head straight over here, is that correct? Yep. And then just ha drop in and so hopefully find a spot to glass, mate. Yeah. And just Boy, look out. Yeah. The sitting down part sounds good to me. <laughs> I did mine earlier, <laughs> about 30 years ago. <laughs> well, how far away from camp are we? Three k's? Four k's? Yeah, it's good. Four, yeah. So I've had to keep up with him. I'm a, I'm a bit knackered already, but uh, we've actually just started to get into some areas now starting to get a bit more predominant, normal sort of grasses, going away from that sort of snow, like, uh, I don't know what your class is, but it's like a little snow grass, shrub, shrub, yeah. So. And straight up as soon as we start to see this we start to see a few pellets yeah now we've got a couple of little rubs just in front of us and it looks like it sort of clears a little bit more in front yeah. so see what we can it. i'm confident ben's going to put one on the ground today <laughs> hey what yeah. do you mean ben i'm confident it means, it. yeah i told you you're going to shoot a deer and i'm going to shoot one today too. <laughs> it's all going to happen yeah. three or four k's in now. Uh, we're following this uh, ridge line. We believe it's going to go down and come out on a bit of a spur. Hopefully we can get a bit of clear glassing area and give it a go. Uh, now I can hear a helicopter coming in. Hope I haven't set off my PLB <laughs> by accident. There's the deer bed. I'd do a good job of it. Yeah. It's actually quite a good gully right down the bottom there too, isn't it? Well, the further we go in, the fresher the sign becomes. I haven't seen any deer though, so they're not here in big numbers. But the bottom one is Ben's just uh, found this bed here, uh, a few rubs around it, a little bit of fresh shit or fresh earth. So we're just going to go around this sort of end of the uh, spur here and it looks like on the GPS that it's actually um, falls away quite uh, savagely over the other side. So it might be sort of a bluff there. Hopefully we might be able to sit there in glass. It's, we've got about five, six hours before dark so we've got plenty of time. But it will take us, will take me probably about three hours to hike out of here. So, and, and we could get snow tonight. So, yeah, the challenge is ahead of me.
we've just decided we're just going to keep moving, just exploring new places because if we stay too long in one spot, it may be just a fantastic location just around the corner. So today, and this whole trip is about uh, just travelling around, checking out new sites, new areas, and hopefully, hopefully, um, put some deer on the ground. But it's just, it's just a fantastic adventure, and how, how could you not have a great time? Ben's got a bit of a theory with these preaching trees and I tend to agree with him. They tend to like the old trees or whatever, but it's got to have a branch that sort of comes out sort of, you know, seven, back, seven yeah. to eight feet so they can get up and give their old antlers a bloody rattle and, you know, if they're in velvet or whatever. Put their sand on it. Yeah. We've called an Uber. An Uber shooter. A shooter Uber, whatever you want to call it. It's going to save us about two or three k's. The boys have offered it to pick us up, so we're very happy. Hasn't happened yet though, there might be uh, money having to be exchanged. <laughs>